video is going to be a book review of We're All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. This book was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize in 2014, and I've heard a lot of good about it, so I was quite excited to read it. Also, spoilers. This book has a very important spoiler fairly early on, and I'm going to be covering it, so you don't want to watch this video if you're not into spoilers, or you haven't read the book. So, away with you. We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves is a book about a woman named Rosemary who vividly remembers her childhood and wants to tell her story. She mainly focuses on her time at college and her childhood. Rosemary's time in college mainly centers around how she became friends with a dramatic troublemaking girl named Harlow and how she met up with her brother Lowell after 10 years apart. The sections about her childhood focus on her relationships with her siblings. Her brother Lowell, who leaves when Rosemary's 11, and her sister Fern, who is taken away when she is 5. Both of Rosemary's siblings have a profound effect on her life, but one has to dwell more on her relationship with Fern, as Fern is a chimpanzee that their parents were raising as another child, partially as an experiment by the kids psychologist father. After Fern is taken away when Rosemary is five, Lowell goes on and off the rails a bit until he finally runs away from home when Rosemary is 11. As Rosemary has her experiences with Harlow and with Lowell as an adult, will she come to understand her siblings and maybe even find herself? I had very mixed but largely positive feelings towards this book. It was really well written and put forward some very interesting ideas but also some very strange opinions that I wasn't sure what to think about. These ideas and opinions that are brought forward in this book are mainly about our relationship between humans and animals and humans and other humans based on animals. But I do want to say that I found Rosemary to be a very compelling character. In many ways she has always been a bit of an underdog throughout her, her life, but in the end, she comes to realise her privilege and uses her privilege to help others. She chooses a more middle path compared to her very extreme older brother and the very passive everyone else in the world. And in the end, she comes to understand herself in detail that the rest of us can only dream of. The book deals a lot with the implications of animal testing. It makes some very interesting points about that topic particularly about how cruel it can be and about how it's so often unnecessary. However, it also does make the implication in some ways that animals are just the same as us in a weird way. And I don't know what to think about that because they are different from us. I... Hmm... I don't know what to think about it at all. Overall, I am not quite sure what to make of this book. It's well written, and it is interesting, but it does make a very strange opinion implication thing. What did you think of this book if you've read it? I would love to know what you think, so let me know down below. It's a very short review this time, I know, but I don't have a lot, lot to say about it. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails down below to see other videos by me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.